Hey, what's going on, guys? Back at you with another uh, video of Diablo Immortal. Just wanted to go over the monk build I showed you last night. Um, it was fun for a little bit, but come to the realization, they did say monk was dead. It's not dead. He can still play it. It's fun. It's good PVE. Uh, it's really good support class. But the one thing that the monk is missing is that uh, it's reward over risk so you either have to be all support all offensive all defensive and the number one thing i was noticing is it takes too many pieces put together to make cooldowns of skills viable for the month to make it dashy where you should not have the long cooldowns so like say for example i've got this piece on for shield of zen right here uh Increase the cooldown by 10%. Awaken. So I got 20% shield is in cooldown, correct? On top of another 10%. 30% shield is in cooldown. So a 30% shield is in cooldown nets me still not a full cooldown on this. Whereas, let's say a barbarian, for example, with a demoralized helmet, CC, and a demoralized duration. You know, for PvP is all you need to give you 100% uptime with fully awakened pieces. That is all you need. So that's not good. And then let's say I got, you know, Flying Kick. I don't have... This increases the damage. As well as this increases the damage to, you know, 550%. As Awakening gives you 10% damage increase, Sagarin Kick. So this gives me all kind of damage increases, right? And a little bit of cooldown, but... The cooldown on it is super long. Look how long that cooldown is for using another kick. You get three of them, but it doesn't do enough damage for that one charge to be enough to kill the people like a monk used to be able to. Like I said, just now I got it back up. Now I got to wait again. I'm dead in the water, so now I got to use fucking palm and now i'm out i'm out of dashes now i got i got this i could use but then i'm out of everything again for what seems like forever so i'm just a sitting duck right there and it's not enough damage to actually be viable in top tier fights so really only thing you can run is like a lockdown build with the new shoulders and things like that and that's cool if that's the way you like to play but um it shouldn't it shouldn't be that way they shouldn't force you into a meta that is just doing one thing for the class. Let's say a satyr can run, you know, a, a buff class, a damage class, a CC class. A blood knight can run a CC class. They can run an immunity class, and they can run a damage class. A wizard can run a damage class that's still viable. A CC class that's still viable. And still, you know, it's two classes you get there. Necro can run a CC class, and then they change one piece on their gear, and they're now a like full damage blown class. And then they can run a CC class with the pillar still, a still viable build. Barbarian can run a CC class with Hoda build that goes around the circle. Um, it can run a damage class with the basic uh, Wrath of the Berserker and the Furious Charge and the Lacerate, whereas they can also run a very tankyish build where they just don't die. Um, let's see what else we got. We got Demon Hunter can run the old, you know, not back shot, impale, this, that. They can run traps now, which are very viable with our new update. And then they can run the meta build, which is the strafe clone build and the escape. Um, who else we got? Um, what other classes are there? I think, th I think that's it. I think I covered all of them. Um, let's see. Monk, Wizard, Barbarian, Demon Hunter, Crusader, Necro, Blood Knight. Yep, that's all of them. Monk has a support build that is not top tier. It's very a long cooldowns again. And I believe that's what they would have to do is make the pieces either have longer built-in cooldowns on them. Like I said, this, this cooldown right here, this... 7.2 this should be 10 percent this should be a 10 percent on the piece this should be a 10 percent 3.6 like 
No, the shield is not powerful enough for 3.6. This needs to be 10.6. It's all easy fixes. This needs to be 10.6. Why is this 3.6 when the other classes are probably 10%? Uh, it's just, or they could just rework the cooldown. The cooldown on it's 12 seconds. 3% in 12 seconds is, is hardly anything. It's like a fraction of a second. And then with all this cooldown, I still have, I should have 100% uptime on this. But I don't. So I would have to take out another piece, like a shoulder piece or a leg. Or, I don't, I already got the main hand. Like, there's nothing else you could do. The whole class just needs to be reworked. Um... I believe that would fix the monk, or at least help it out, a hundred percent, one hundred percent. Okay, so I had a post where a guy um, said, "Hey, I see you got a four out of five. I can't believe you ranked that up to a rank ten. I was like, "Yeah, I ranked that up to a rank ten. A lot of people don't know this because they haven't made videos, and I didn't know this until I did it with my Void Spark." Okay, so I know you can go to 4 to 5 by just improving it. So you buy a 5 out of 5 gem and you put it right here. Now what it does give you is it spits out your highest rarity. So example, if this was a 3 out of 5 and I went to a 5 out of 5, it would give you a dupe 3 out of 5. So you're not even wasting the 4 out of 5. And you can save that at 4 out of 5 just in case something inside of another gem, which a lot of people... They know inside the gems, or you don't if you're not a big spinner. They have gems inside of them, for example. So these are your gems inside of your gem. This gives you your bonuses. This gives you what I call the icing on the cake. This gives you the little bit of advantage. You get this with one star and two, I don't know if one star, but I know two stars, you get this as well. And you get these little bonuses here. Um... Quick note, if you have a 4 out of 5, like my mall deep here, you cannot equip a second gem until you get a 5 star. 5 out of 5. I do not tell you that. So, um, that's really important. If you're not going to be a huge spender, that's why you don't have to go out of the 5 out of 5s. Um, but yeah, I was just wanted to go over that because some guy uh, didn't know that. And that's some really good, you know, advice right there. Um, I have been running the six piece vengeance and I love it. I have noticed that I'm not as tanky, but when you have classes that, let's say for Demon Hunter example, that's just get out of the way, uh, have a shield up all the time. It's awesome. Um, let's see, uh, you have satyrs which have the immunity shield, you know, conjuration of light. Monks have the shield is in. Uh, Blood Knights have the transfusion. Uh, what else? You got frost armor. So any in any, any class pretty much can benefit from it. I think if you have the higher resonance, uh higher damage, or if you're getting in matches where you're just noticing you're in the regular for your resonance, which they have improved here just a little bit. Um Vengeance is great. It's a lot of damage. I just nuke through people now. I eat them up. Um so I will be switching back to Blood Knight just because of the the cooldowns uh, are super, super nice. Uh, the class is very dashy. It's what the monk used to be and stuff like that. Uh, I know there's a thing over here. They said there was... Okay, so here, when they say this... They didn't show all of them before on the update. As you can see, you scroll left to right. This is for your eternal gear. So, for example, if I had ice armor or any of these classes, any of these right here, it goes to the next class. So, if you had, like, so for example, Sanguinate on Blood Knight, it becomes Command Golem when you switch to Necromancer. This is pretty cool. So, for example, uh, Crusader Falling Sword would go to, I'm going to Blood Knight would go to Sanguine. So what I'm looking at here <laughs> is you can see all the affixes you get. You can go Whirling Strike, for example. I'm going to run Blood Knight, so I'm looking at these. Whirling Strike, Skewer, Shroud of Night, Swarm of Bats, Umbrellant, Siphon Blood, Abomination. So the ones that stick out to me for Blood Knight are the Whirling Strike. I already have it. This is a range increase. Skewer, 
Every time you hit with a primary, it increases the uh, critical strike chance of the skewer. I'm not sure the amount. I think it's 25%. I'm not sure. Shroud of Night increases the attack speed when you do it. Swarm of Bats. I have not seen this one yet. I'm really excited to see that one. But all these right here. Sanguinate's great, but you don't really need it anymore. For farming, it's awesome. But um, I just wanted to go over. After testing a full day of uh, Monk, what actually could be fixed on it, as I don't know who watches my videos or who this gets out to, but like I said, there's a lot of people I love Monk. I'm a day one Monk. I love it for PvE, but when it comes to PvP content, it is it is lacking the amount of damage it needs to make those cooldowns warrant on those pieces. So, uh, yeah. I just wanted to touch base on you guys with this. As you saw, I did put that video out yesterday. It was fun. As you can see, it can do a lot of damage. But it's just lacking that. The cooldowns are way too long on the pieces. So until the next one, guys. Uh, it's going to be a juicy one. A juicy BK one. And uh, we're going to go over, you know, maybe a challenger build. To help you run those high challengers to be super tanky to do the damage you need. Um... As well as a maybe another gym video, maybe a leaked video. I'm not a partner, so I don't have access to the leaks. But um, I do watch pretty much almost all Diablo Immortal, the new stuff that comes out, the higher content creators like Echo and Misery and Havanus and uh, who's the other one? Gamer Zone and uh, the guy, I don't know his, I keep forgetting his YouTube name, but his name in game is Milk Tea. Oblivion, I believe, yes. So I watch all those guys, and then I kind of compile them together to kind of form the best assumption. So until the next one, guys, uh, appreciate you watching the content. Drop a like and follow uh, so I can keep putting these out and, uh, you know, get that algorithm up so everyone can be seen, hopefully improve their game, help them out with a little bit of tips and tricks and uh, class uh, balancing and what they can be running to help them out. Until the next one, later.